Hi, my name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about is predictive analytics important for a data analyst or not? Kya data analyst ke liye predictive analytics jo module hai, predictive analytics related jo topics hai, are they important or not? Talking about the job market, talking about the interviews being scheduled as part of a data analytics role, as part of whatever is going on right now in 2023. Is predictive analytics important? If yes, to what extent do we need to learn? This topic we will talk about in this video. I am not 100% healthy guys. So make sure you like, share and subscribe the channel for my speedy recovery. And see you in the video. So coming back to the topic, is predictive analytics important or not? I have already made multiple videos on this topic on data analytics. What should be your roadmap? What all skills should we learn? And kitna time dena chahiye per each skill in order to learn all these things. Right now, I can definitely guarantee that if you start your journey right now, you can become a data analyst in no time, in three to four months. But mehnat thoda jada lagega as compared to four to five years back. Now, important topic is predictive analytics. Important hai ya nahi hai? Many people ask me, sir, is machine learning important or not? Is predictive analytics important or not? Aaj ke date mein, as a data analyst, humko exactly karna kya hota hai, right? Now, the answer to this question before answering, let me just try to clarify you ki data analytics hota kya hai, right? Data analytics is nothing but a combination of four types of analytics. Descriptive, predictive, prescriptive and diagnostic. Right? Predictive analytics simply ye type ka analytics hai jisme hum predictions karte hai. Very related to machine learning. In the space of data science, hum usko machine learning bolte hai. Machine learning do tarah ka hota hai. It's combination of predictive analytics and non-predictive analytics. But usme jo predictive part hai, Yes, it is required for a data analyst. 20 to 30% of the jobs for a data analyst, they do work on machine learning or predictive analytics. Rest 60 to 70% of the work, it's related to data cleaning, data exploration, data preparation, visualizations and all those things. So 20 to 30% of the companies, 20 out of 100 data analysts in simple terms, work on predictive analytics as well. In my company also, the data analyst who is working, uh, he is also working on machine learning activities, he is also working on predictive analytics. So, predictive analytics is an important and integral part of a data analytics. Ab usko chahiye ya nahi chahiye, that is up to you. If you add it, 100% guarantee that you will have a better chance of landing a job. Because these days, Companies have also started to look machine learning in your resume, even if you are a data analyst. So if you know predictive analytics, you can write machine learning in your resume. Now, coming back to this topic, ki predictive analytics mein padna kya hai? And what should be your time span? Kitna time dena chahiye kis, kis topic pe? I will be explaining that. Simply, predictive analytics mein you need to focus on the predictive part, which is classification regression these are the two important topics regression however industry may bahut kam use hota hai regression ke base pe time series analysis bahut jyada use hota hai so time series analysis is a, going to be your top priority forecasting time series forecasting forecasting of the number of tickets forecasting of the number of passengers forecasting of the temperature if you are working in a telecom domain forecasting of the number of uh, uh, forecasting the total charges of certain customers. So any kind of problem can be a time series problem. So time series is important. So classification, regression and time series. These are the three things that you need to learn in predictive analytics. And some of these predictive analytics things are also available in Excel and they're also available in Power BI and Tableau. In Power BI, you can simply do time series forecasting. In Tableau also you can do time series forecasting. MS Excel may be bahut sara 
प्रडिक्शन और प्रडिक्टिव एनालिटिक्स का है डेटा एनालिसिस टूल्स में सो हाउ मच टाइम वी शुड टेक टू लर्न ऑल दिस थिंग्स आई थिंक वन वीक शुड बी इनफ वन वीक में यू कैन डेफिनेटली लर्न प्रडिक्टिव एनालिटिक्स एंड टू एंड ना आई हैव अ प्रडिक्टिव एनालिटिक्स प्ले लिस्ट रेडी इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल ऑन द चैनल राइट नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक इट पब्लिक राइट नाउ लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो इफ I see a lot of requests then I will definitely make it free for you all. If I don't see comments then also you will be able to access the predictive analytics module on Zep Analytics and on Udemy very soon because I'm uploading them as separate courses. But as I said if I get enough comments good amount of likes in this video I will make the predictive analytics part fully accessible to you free of cost. apart from that apart from predictive analytics apart from the question that we were trying to answer in this video in case you want to learn data analytics from scratch you want to become a data analyst i have already created a separate video jahan pe maine explain kiya hai ki there is a program that i have launched which you can take and become a data analyst in 2 months trust me i launched it on 11th of march 11th of march se leke 17 tak almost 1 mahina 6 din hua hai I have 22 students who have already enrolled for the program and they are really really happy. They have been a part of my WhatsApp community jahan pe they are asking doubts I am able to help them and they are super happy with the contents. So in case you want to become one and you want to take my course let me know link will be in the comment section below but agar mere ko aap directly reach out karte ho on WhatsApp or on LinkedIn I will be able to give you 20% off. That's all about this particular video. I came up with this video after a long time. Sorry guys, I was kind of not available and then I fell sick, but abhi I am active again. So videos aate rahenge and you can also notice one more change in me is that I have started speaking Hindi as well. So this channel we are also going to focus on Hindi and English both so that jyada audience bhi mile mujhe and people will also appreciate uh, my work. सो मेरे वीडियोस को लाइक कीजिए शेयर कीजिए एंड सब्सक्राइब कीजिए दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इन केस यू हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस एनी रैंडम क्वेश्चंस लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो और एल्स रीच मी आउट ऑन लिंक सी